exposure. It's an annual band competition for young bands from the Northern Beaches. So it's an opportunity um, for bands to perform, that's a performance space, and showcase their talents in front of friends, family, and their peers. And each band is always unique and different in their own sort of ways. I think, I think it's very important to see all the participation from all the young people in the area. Like it's just so great to see, like I'm from Raw, Raw FM uh, on 88.1 Northern Beaches. And for us, it's all about the crossing over from our stuff, whether it's dance music or urban or rock or whatever your genre is that you're into. It's great to see that the young people today are in across all genres. It's, it doesn't seem to have barriers anymore, which is fantastic. Um, we kind of play, we really like old school kind of punk, like Black Flag, Descendants, um, how about it? Uh, Misfits, Coke Bust. They're like this LA hardcore band, and yeah, so kind of want to combine all those old school punk sounds. Like, cause we like we know it's like that kind of stuff isn't played around here anymore. So yeah, heavy rock. Would you describe it? Yeah, hardcore. hard rock, alternative yeah. rock, stuff like that. Punk rock. Yeah, punk rock. The Clash remains 70s, 80s punk. We're not like as punky as Denver, but yeah, Denver. Yeah, we like Denver a lot. Bands like Anthrax, um, Slayer, Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath, Iron Maiden, just a lot of the old All school. All of these patches <laughs> are inspirations here. Well, that stuff is just acoustic, kind of straight up acoustic stuff. Guns N' Roses, <laughs> Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin. Oh hardcore, hardcore, post hardcore, metalcore. I'm very, I'm not sure what the word is, I'm into like all kinds of music, so it's very hard for me to decide, okay, what music do I want to play? I think the biggest influence that isn't the local scene would probably be Franz Ferdinand. Uh, I would say rock, yeah, like no, okay. <laughs> rock, melodic rock, yeah, sophisticated rock. I kind of get my influences from everything I listen to, but mainly for the stuff we write here, it's a mix between like Block Party, Franz Ferdinand, a bit of Two Door Cinema Club, and just like a little like I might hear other songs and mash ideas together in my head and see what could work. <laughs> What we find is young people are constantly asking for um, things to do and nighttime entertainment activities and programs. So we feel there's a need and what we hear from young people uh, through our youth committee and youth forums is that uh, you know young people want uh, nighttime programs, activities, events and places to socialise in a safe sort of environment. The amount of music here is like you get all different kinds, and I think that's what makes it interesting. Yeah, yeah it's been a, it's a pretty fun day.
sounding so awesome and it just goes to show that with a bit more help professional help um, there's possibilities for these fans to go in where it's fantastic I think it's great. The standard is really refreshing and uh, better than I would have expected. I've been sponsoring this event now for this is the third year and uh, I just think, uh, you know, music is a wholly passion driven endeavour and, you know, there's nobody on the planet more passionate than young people. And so it's great to see and I'm happy to be a part of it. I think more people should actually be seeing what the youth are doing to feel that they're supported too. Even if it just means that a couple of counsellors come along and they can see that they're being supported. Try to stick as close as possible to various um, categories that we're looking at with the with the scoring, the judging, uh, musicianship, originality, stage presence, uh, youth uh, audience appeal, and overall presentation. Yeah. yeah. And what, what do you look like? You look for in, when when it's the uh, overall presentation. What, what do you think? Well, I think that's a kind of a nebulous thing. It's a certain sort of star quality, perhaps, or je ne sais quoi. Um, you know, just something that stands out. Charisma. And that could be anything. That might be the person, it might be the song, but, you know, it's, it could be any of those things. Well, the musicianship is is key, but he's right. The charisma and and 
it's natural the energy the whole group brings together but the musicianship itself if they can't actually play their instruments properly it all just dies it doesn't go anywhere so the amount of time that each individual puts into their craft is what really makes it I look at things like, you know, with their overall presentation, are they having fun out there? You know, because you have fun, it goes across to your audience as well too, and that's so important that you're going to feel comfortable up there, you've got to feel as though you belong up there, and, and the audience love it. And, and as we heard with some of the other bands that have been playing, that we won't be judging, but yep. they've, they've had some phenomenal audience reaction out there, you know, with it. Big question. Do they own that stage? Yeah. That's it. Without further ado, the winner of the judges' choice, P1 2013 Northern Composure Band Competition, is Lost Trolleys. Hi, I'm Yannick. I'm Joe. I'm Lachlan. And I'm Stephen. And we're Lost Trolleys. <laughs> <laughs> jumped on a bit of a bandwagon with the whole one word plural thing. <laughs> we were pretty much just couldn't figure out a name so we just took I think the inspiration may have come from an, Egyptian I, no, an influential band named Strong oh, yeah. and their song Encounter. That's about it. <laughs> Are you ready to hear the final? Are you ready to hear the winner? Yes. Alright. I'm not going to announce the winner. I'm going to get uh, Paul from Jam Manager to come up and announce the winner. So can we welcome Paul to the stage. Thank you, Justin. Uh, I'd just like to say thanks to all the bands for their hard work and creativity and passion. The standard was just universally high in my view. Anyhow, without further ado, the winner of the Northern Composure Band Competition for 2013 is...
at all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we just... <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're so stoked. The, um, the caliber of um, talent in this competition is um, incredible. So, yeah, thanks everyone for this. Thanks for the sponsors and judges and the council for holding this event on. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Thank you. be actually judging them but because the people out there are judging them and from what I've seen by you know I've gone and walked around and, and stood upstairs and watched the crowds reaction to the people um, they're into it so when when the fans into it the crowds gonna be pumped and yeah those guys are having a ball out there and that's what matters. I came here to support Blueman Theatre. Owen and we found Wally. We found Wally. Life for effect. That's where that's Soul Yeah. Where's the funny house So the audience choice winner tonight, as voted by you, the audience, is for perfect. of Heat 2 of the Northern Composure Band Competition is Blue Moon Theatre. <laughs> to uh, announce the winner, Blue Moon Theatre!
Thank you.